two-stage 32-inch snowblower, full retail at uh, $2,400. So I wish we'd stop getting to these points of the commission being, or the delegation being asked to appropriate sums of money that probably aren't appropriate. Okay, so we don't have any more motions on the floor. Yes, Commissioner. Madam Chair, we'll find the money somewhere. Okay. Snow blower. I would like to, one addition, we have the county attorney here. Um, we've talked about the assistant county attorneys. One is leaving Wednesday. He has, they have a full caseload. They need to hire somebody right away, not wait until the 1st of January, as we originally said earlier. Uh, and if you'd like the county attorney to speak to that, he's here to do that. Yes. Yep. Representative Umberger. Yes. The county attorney has all the authority in the world to hire somebody within the budget. And so, in my opinion, why are well, we... Well, why don't we just listen to the request because it is a little, it is something that we have not done before. Okay. Okay. Mr. Dewhurst. Sir. Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. um, we are at that point that we spoke of uh, back in late winter or early spring where uh, one of our assistants is leaving. Um, there's also the chance that another one could be leaving, and it's all because of the salary compensation of the assistant county attorneys. Um, uh, we have a need here at the county to uh, hire someone with the capability of serving as an assistant county attorney. Uh, those salary ranges are not in the salary range that uh, we're putting this out, which we have advertised. Um, we haven't put the amount in the ad, but um, the amount that we have available is $44,280. Um, <clears throat> most of the applicants uh, have not had any criminal experience. Uh, many of them uh, who have had uh, some trial experience or uh, have criminal experience uh, need more than that. Um, we're simply coming to you today if there's any way that um, the commission or we could use something from another line item uh, to uh, offer a little bit more to uh, get a more qualified assistant county attorney to fill the bill. Um, and uh, it's Yes, it's, it's coming again to the next budget uh, season, um, but I, we have done everything in our power, I guess, to hold this off until now. Uh, now, once Wednesday comes, we'll have to divvy up the caseload and then we'll try and fill that position. Okay, and the, the county attorney, though, I know that um, I talked with the commissioner, uh, Representative Fleck and I talked with them, and they, what the reason that I had them come to the um, delegation is that they would like to take six thousand dollars from the lo another line item, put it in, and increase the salary, which is different than we've ever done before. And I did not want to say yes or, or say that it's okay. They have the authority to do this, but the extra thing that is happening is that if they have a, a new hire and it comes in, this is not just a um, you know. 44 and six six thousand and then we can go back to negotiate this would be a salary and I think that we have to um, you know understand that if this is if this is offered and it is accepted that this is the beginning of the process where the the assistant county attorneys are going to have to get to have some more um, to have higher pay so that perhaps we can figure out where they are. We're getting information to find out what other county uh, uh, assistant of county attorneys. Uh, Mr. Dewhurst did not take his, um, uh, he had the ability to take um, benefits, benefits, health benefits, did not because he didn't. And that saved the county something. And so um, it is It is my thought, and I'm hoping that the rest of you would you would agree that this is a an issue that they have um, money for in a different line item, but it would be a kind of a permanent thing when they're asking for a higher salary. So that's why I wanted to have you come in, Commissioner Sorensen, and then what, Representative Schmidt. Madam and Chair, one last comment, and that is the funding that it, the line item that it would come out of. Could you explain that line item? Um, 
I guess it would probably come out of the civil commitment budget which we have um, currently that case is stayed and uh, so there's a possibility that it could reopen itself provided on what happens in the court system in the next few months um, in which case we would need some of those funds uh, to pursue to pursue, pursue that type of case but it's all speculative at this point but I do give that caveat that we may need those funds should the facts turn in a different way. Is that six thousand um, dollars remove, you know, delete anything that you have for civil commitment, or do you have something left over after the six thousand comes out of that? We still um, we have approximately um, from the figures given by the business office, we have approximately fourteen thousand two oh three twelve left. Okay. So um, the 6000 would come out of that? Would come out of that line item, and that would be, okay. Uh, Representative Schmidt, Algren, Umberger, McCarthy, and McConkie. Yeah. Mr. Tuhar, it's just a question. Uh, if we get you to $6,000 and your new hire comes in at that increased rate, uh, would that person be coming in at a higher salary than your existing assistant attorneys? No, they wouldn't. And that's a very good point um, that, you know, when, when you're talking about salary increases, public salaries, of course, that'll have a reaction to the other assistant county attorneys. So I only say that, that you know, those are some of the considerations that you know, we may need to address. And that we would address you know, as we're coming up into budget system. All, Representative Algram, Umberger, McCarthy, McConkie. Okay, thank you. I think you might have I may have just answered the question myself, but so the, the person who left was basically your your highest ranking no. assistant. No, be the entry level. So the person who left is the entry level. Yes. Okay, and and the and such that now if you increase at six thousand dollars this person coming in will be making more than some people that are already there that's no that's that's that will not be happening okay no and i'm, I'm trying it's it's a range i mean and i i think this person who we interviewed would take the position at at the salary of fifty thousand or fifty one thousand but it's it, it's still not a done deal or anything that's why i'm just i'm just coming to the delegation i see thank you very much Okay, Representative Umberger. Yes. Um, two questions. Number one, he does not need six thousand dollars between now and January. Okay. He needs to be able to offer it, I would assume. Right. But that's a different story, because the offer then becomes a salary for next yeah. year. What he might need for this year is an, is an additional $2,000 or, you know, whatever. I don't know what it is. But 6 divided by 12 is an 6, you know, if that's what he wants to offer. So what I'm saying is, is that what we should approve is only what he needs through the end of January, or the end of December, okay? Because we then go to next year's budget mm -hmm. where we look at the salaries and if we have an agreement that says next year I will pay you $51,000 then that's what he comes in with the budget for for next year but we don't have to he can't carry money over after January anyhow or December anyhow so whatever he needs between now and the 31st of December is the only thing that we should be approving. Now, that is with the understanding, okay, that if he offers a total of 51000 for a year and the contract runs from November 6th or January to December. I mean, December. I don't know when his contract, I mean, if he hires somebody in October, then obviously their contract would run from October to October. I don't know that, but... I they're not a contract, it's not on an okay. annual basis. Okay. So, I mean, so we don't need to approve the 6000 What we need to approve is an increase between now and the uh, 31 December. Okay, and it may be that we don't have to approve it at all, but I know that what he wants to be able to do is to offer, and if we and only put in 
That's that's the issue. I don't know. We'll have to. So let's I mean, we can. You know, he said he's got the money and civil commitment to cover whatever he needs between now and January or December, but he can't. You know, he would then come in, and I think that probably none of us would disagree that you know six thousand dollars might be the appropriate amount for next year, and if we if he offered that then we would be committed to that for next year, but we're, we're not committed to that right. between now and 31 December. Representative McCarthy, McConkie, and Babson. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. I would like to uh, point out that uh, Title II, Chapters 26 and 27 of the Reserve Statutes Annotated specifically designates the county delegation as having the sole authority and responsibility for determining the pay and benefits of all county department heads. The county employees come under the county commission, commissioners. They have to approve it, not us. Unless we're, we do have to approve it only if they are moving an appropriation from one department to another. They are not doing that. The county attorney um, says that he is going to take it out of his own budget. He doesn't need any approval to do that, and he doesn't need us to approve the amount. That's up to the commissioners. We approve, we have the authority to say what the, the department heads will receive in pay, allowances, and benefits. We have nothing to do with the assistance. I think it's important, if I had not brought this to you, and you had heard about it in the newspaper or from the hire, you would have lynched me. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. And so that's, or both. I understand that we don't have to do this. Put yourself in the position of somebody that's coming and wanting an offer of 51000 no, yeah. Now, just wait. Just wait. Put yourself in that position. You're going to want to, are you going to want to, you know, Base your dis your uh, your decision on the fact that this delegation will approve fifty one thousand dollars next year for its for the salary. Stop. Only put that in, and now I'm going to go to Representative uh, McCarthy. Let me just say yes, that I, I agree with you, Madam Chair, and I appreciate very much that they brought it to us so that we know what's going on. But they still they don't they don't need our approval at this time. Okay. Understand that, right. Representative McConkie, and then Babson. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, I, I tend to listen to my fellow representatives, and I assure you, lynching you is not on our priority list. So thank you, <laughs> thank you for bringing that forward. I, I would uh, speak for myself. Is that <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you, uh, Representative Babs. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, I, I, I full heartedly approve what Representative Unberg is suggesting here, because my, my fear in talking about this now that we're going to throw six thousand really parlays into 18000 because we've got three employees. I think spending the money that needs to be spent to get us through this year and giving the um, giving uh, Tom the time, I apologize, I'm using the title, uh, the time to come forward and tell us what really works, I think is a much better approach. And perhaps he won't need 6000 perhaps he's going to need 10000 But I, I would not like to make a policy statement that at the very least we are going to open up negotiations next year at six thousand dollars more for me. So, I, I prefer the methodology that Representative Unberg is speaking of. Okay, good enough, Representative Babson. Thank you, Madam Chairman. My only concern is we operate from January to March without a budget. And how does that affect? How would this situation <coughs> that fact? Yes, because one of the things that happens is that the commissioners get to spend that in exactly the same manner as they have in the previous year. Represent one Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is so, it, so, I mean, what they can't do is go out and buy new equipment. Right. Okay, but they basically have that time frame, and if we could ever get our stuff together, we could certainly get a budget approved before 31 January. That's just the end March. Or 31 March. For the question. Yes. But, but it's going to be a weekly salary. 
Representative Umberger is only wanting to raise the money through December. But it's 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 it becomes <laughs> it becomes a standard bill that they have to pay until the budget is approved. 